guys, I'm Keaton Robbins. This is my good old buddy, Kurt Larson. You have Over the Line. Just a reminder that next week's episode is going to be our Christmas special. I'm really looking forward to that. This week's our last normal episode, whatever that means. Now, first up, Kurt, we have our friend of the show, Lisa Ann, retiring. Yeah, retiring from porn. Okay. But she still wants to stay in your fantasies. She's going to become a football fantasy expert. Of course, we know her. Friend of the show, uh, once dated Michael Delzato of the Flyers. I heard about that. That didn't turn out well for him. No. Also a star in the uh, world famous porn, Who's Nailing Palin? Okay. Uh, which, of course, was about the uh, former vice presidential candidate, Sarah Palin. One um, can assume. But let's just take this uh, uh, fantasy football stuff for a second. She's going to be just as good as the experts because all we know is that uh, fantasy football is always a guessing game. So I'll take her advice. I don't know what to say. Now next up, Kurt, you've heard obviously of the I Can't Breathe yeah. campaign, and that's pretty serious stuff. But we have a Pittsburgh Penguins hockey pundit who makes an absolute joke of that, and it's pretty awkward. Yeah, uh, I think the message here is to sports pundits everywhere, don't infuse uh, a racially tense incident or movement in the U.S. with uh, sports commentary. Stan Saverin, what are you This guy thinks a little bit too far. I mean, he's comparing the, the, the Pittsburgh Penguins being suffocated by the Columbus Blue Jackets. I thought Jay the Penguins would have to put on those I can't breathe t-shirts for a while because Columbus was suffocating. The best part, if there is a best part about this video, is right. his co-host kind of looking away when he makes this analogy. That uh, I want to be anywhere else but here, look. Surprisingly, uh, I don't think uh, his, his co-host got the, got the picture and uh, later came out and apologized. I don't think Stan's gonna be on TV or radio anytime soon, but who knows. And finally, Kurt, I love soccer, you love soccer, and China's doing something Canada should have done a long time ago. Yeah, which is actually play soccer, or have the kids play soccer instead oh. of hockey. But okay. Uh, no, um, China, so embarrassed it hasn't made the World Cup since 2002, the president says, we are going to get back to the World Cup. What he's going to do? He's going to implement it into the school curriculum that kids must play soccer growing up. They're going to uh, build 20,000 new fields. Uh, with a goal of having 100,000 new soccer players eligible for the national pool. China's going to be a powerhouse. I expected them to be a dominant powerhouse in soccer a long time ago. This is definitely going to put them over the edge. Or at least get back to a World Cup. You'd hope so. Well, that's it for this week's edition of Overline. Make sure you go to Sun Media Sites across Canada or canoe.ca for more. Thanks for watching.